Hello and welcome to Shrimps and Snails. I've had the oxidators in the tanks for a couple of months now, so I thought I'd do an update. I've been running two tanks identical. Uh, they both had Neos in at the time and inert substrate, so they had the same substrate, same sort of uh, species of shrimp, same tank conditions, pH, TDSs, foods. So the only difference in these was one had the oxidator and one didn't. A few months ago we had some real high heat and let's get into about 31 degrees in here. So rather than doing anything about the coolant I thought I'd just see how these two tanks coped with it. In the bottom tank we had some yellow neos at the time and one night I had I think it's two or three deaths but on the top tank we had no deaths but also had a female get buried which I can only attribute it to the increased amount of oxygen within the water. Obviously when the tanks get hotter, the, the water is able to hold less oxygen. So with the oxidate, oxidator in there, it was able to increase the oxygen for the water. So all in all, I would suggest getting them if you've got high temperatures at the time. It just helps to stop any problems. I thought I'd do a little few on the tanks as well while we're here. Mainly in here there is the uh, blues and oranges. I don't usually keep neos together but I've just run out of tank space for the moment. So that I have to make do. There's plenty of willow moss in there which is looking a bit of a mess but I'll tidy that up once we've uh, got sorted out. There's a nice buried female at the back there. And she's not going to come out so you have to trust me on that. This side we've got some blue Ramsorn snails and there's some nice blue neos in here as well uh, that's a piece of carrot there we go there's a nice blue one there oh, nice blue ones everywhere in fact but they'll get their own separate tank soon and there's the orange female this one is the Torren B tank which is a big mess got some fat to put a piece of uh, bogwood in there which I'll run out of room for in another tank. This side is my crystal whites which there's I think four buried at the moment and there's some uh, young kicking around. Oh there's one right on top of the uh, wood. There we go. Focus. There we go. I've seen I think about six at one moment at one time in there so I oh know they're surviving again piece of carrot middle left we've got the red tigers that we've got from pro shrimp and the super crystal reds I haven't had any deaths on any of these yet so I'm pretty chuffed with that over here we've got mixed crystals which will be Getting separated into uh, crystal reds and crystal blacks once I've got the space. They definitely seem to enjoy a bit of carrot in there. Again, though, absolutely loads of babies. And finally, my piece of fur uh, driftwood decided to not keep uh, going up to the surface, so I was able to take off the slate. This one down here, Neo mixed tank it's just got uh, painted fire reds uh, black rose and chocolates um, there's a, a young juvie red uh, chocolate up here And there's the second oxidator I had, which I got put in this tank. This tank is pretty much closed down now. I've just got a load of snails in there at the moment. But going back to the oxidator, I'll definitely be getting them in all of my tanks once we've reset back up. The minimum investment for the sake of, well, basically one or two shrimps, and you've paid, let's pay for itself. You still see lots of tiny little bubbles coming out. I haven't actually gone through too much of the uh, liquid 
still got plenty of that from the original two boxes I had. I think I've still got another two two chambers full. So it takes a while to go through. But there we go. Uh, I'll give you some more updates once I've got some more progress. Once again, thanks for watching.